Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is a little different. I'm showing you how I made these DIY cement candle holders. So this is just a look of all the stuff I thought I was going to need, but really all I really needed was just the cement or mortar is what I actually used and a holding device and water, really. <laughs> I thought I was going to paint them later, but I decided to leave them the way they were. And of course like a little mixing bowl. Um, so I just used random containers I had food, like leftover food in. It's really all that easy. Just make sure you leave enough um, space at the top of the container so that way you can kind of, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain, uh, pop some air in it. I'll show you later whenever I'm actually taking them out of the containers. But really all I did, like you can see, is just mix water and mortar together. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really that easy. So I'm just kind of going through and making sure everything's level and not super liquidy, but you also don't want it too dry because then it'll look a little clumpy. Um, I did it a few different ways. Uh, one was this votive candle holder that I put. I thought it would be pretty cool if it was just like sticking out. I don't know. I thought it looked pretty cool at least. Um, you gotta remember just to tape everything down because if you do put any uh, candle holders, they'll start to kind of rise up. So either tape them down, put coins or, or whatever it is, as long as it is secured down so that way um, it doesn't float up because of the water that's inside uh, the mixture. And really I just kind of repeated the process uh, for the little tea lights and votives that I was using. I wrapped it in um, tape just so that way I could make it easier to actually pull pull them out of the dried mix. Um, that's probably optional, I'm not sure. It worked really good for me, so if I do it again, I'll, I'll do the same thing. This is the one I kind of messed up. I didn't leave enough room at the top whenever it was done and I squished the tea light in. It got right up to the edge and it was kind of difficult to pop the cement out. I ended up having to cut it. Um, not a big deal. Now I just know not to do that again. So yeah, you live, you learn. It, was still, it still looks good though. I like the way it looks. Very industrial looking. All of this is. <laughs> So with this bag, I thought it was a brilliant idea that I just went ahead and pre-filled it and then just secured it with tape around it so that way it wouldn't bow. Uh, on second thought, <laughs> I should have mixed it beforehand and then dumped it in. I think it would have worked a lot better because I wasn't able to um, mix it really well. Not, a, I mean, it's not a big deal. It, it kind of turned out, but um, you'll see at the end that the top portion of it was a little weird and um, didn't really sit right or set right. Um, I'll show you at the end, but um, you live, you learn. So whatever. It was still cute though, I guess, kind of. Once I actually finished taking off all the, all the, um, 
It's actually made out of paper, but um, it didn't soak up enough uh, liquid to fall apart. So that I was grateful for because <laughs> that was the second thought as well. Uh, you probably don't want to use paper and water, so yeah. So that's just me. I'm trying to level it off. It was just a little hard because of um, how small it was, but yeah. And really, after you get done with all of your molds, you set them out in the sun or maybe somewhere where it's not going to rain or shine. I mean, it needs to shine, but you gotta let them sit for at least 24 hours um, and then just, you know, harden. Um, you can see here, this was the paper one. It was a fail. It started crumbling apart, so I left it in there. This is after actually two days because um, it rained and I had to let them dry off, but uh, most of it is actually coming right off. They end up a little darker whenever you first pull them out uh, because they're uh, they need to dry out a little bit more, or at least the res residual moisture needs to come off. This is the one that I was having a hard time. I didn't leave myself enough room, so I ended up having to um, cut the actual plastic portion of it. The votive came out fine, but um, just getting the actual <laughs> uh, cement out was a little pain in the butt. So you can see I cut it there. <laughs> it, it's still cute, though. It's really interesting how it turned out. The one that I left my enough, I just, I just used the edges to really just kind of like get some air in the, see how I'm just putting a little air loosening up and then twisted right out. It ended up getting a little lighter than this once I was actually, it was out and everything dried up. So really happy with how these came out and there they are all lit and pretty. I just have them scattered around the house at the moment, so um, I have some really cool ideas to do more of these, so I hope you liked it, and I will see you guys later. Bye!